A six-year-old Jacksonville boy is hospitalized at the burn unit at UF Health Gainesville. His family's mobile home went up in flames this morning. His mother and older sister made it out okay. But six-year-old Alan Kaibado suffered second-degree burns to his shoulder. Their home is on Connie Jean Road near 103rd Street on the west side. The children's grandfather spoke with Channel 4's Ashley Harding, who's joining us now from the scene. Ashley, any word how the little boy is doing? Tom, we just got a new update just a little while ago. I'm told six-year-old Alan could be released from the hospital as soon as tomorrow. Now, what I'm told is he will not need surgery and his injuries have been properly cleaned. But we are told that four family members lived here at this mobile home and the father was on his way to work at the time. But the mother and the children, both under 10 years old, were able to get out. But one very sad note, the family did lose one of their dogs in this fire. The flames could be seen throughout the neighborhood, and according to fire officials, it took firefighters roughly 20 minutes to knock them down. Now, nearly 12 hours later, family members are left heartbroken. Earl Kibado will never forget that feeling he had when he turned on the news. When I seen it this morning, I knew right off the bat exactly which one it was. And the relief he felt when he knew everyone was safe. I was more worried about my grandkids than I was about the trailer or anything. As long as they got out safe, the rest of the place can be uh, replaced. Kibado's six-year-old grandson, Alan, was taken to UF Health Jacksonville with second-degree burns. He has since been transported to the burn unit in Gainesville. Alan's older sister, Kyla, was on scene with her mother, and we were there when she got a special gift from a JSO officer. The state fire marshal's office is still investigating the cause of the fire, but family members tell me they believe it started somewhere near the stove. You can see inside, it almost looks like it's gutted. Now, I did briefly talk with the children's mother off camera. She tells me not only was this their home, but this is also where the children were being homeschooled. They were able to save a couple of items. Other than that, everything was lost. The family's focus now is picking up the pieces and moving forward. Uh, like I say, you're, a life is hard to uh, replace, but material goods, they can be replaced. Everybody. So I just, I'm just grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful for the Lord for that. And you can see by those signs right there that the city has condemned the home and people are not allowed uh, anywhere inside or close by for their safety. But once again, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. If we get any new updates on this, of course, we'll pass those along. Live on the West Side, I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. Ashley, where's the family staying now? You know, Tom, we found that out just a little while ago as well. It turns out family members are putting them up in a hotel. So, yes, they do have a place to stay tonight. Ashley Harding reporting live on the west side. Thank you, Ashley.